Hey guys, I just want to share some thoughts and ideas on how to improve in the combat and my personal goals. I would like to never take damage. I would like to kill any enemy as quickly as, your pos as possible. Um, I'm going to show you guys my keybinds and tell you why I did what I did. So we still have WASD for movement. I experimented because in World of Warcraft I like to strafe with Q and E, but it, it felt weird in this game so I left WASD. Space is still going to be jump. Interact is normally set to E, but I put it to the R key. Uh, this I might change, but for now, throw is going to be on the V key. Sprint, crouch, glide, that's all the same. Now here, you know, you normally have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Well, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are kind of hard to uh, press, you know, during combat, unless you have a Naga Mouse. So I went ahead and keybinded these to Q, E, C, and F. These keys are really quick and easy to press, um, and I'll show you why later, why I chose those buttons. You can still leave this to Q and E. It's not going to conflict or interfere. Whenever you're changing your keybinds, you want to be really careful not to have conflicting keybinds. Uh, inventory is set to V, which is way quicker to press than the I button. So since we use the C keybind up here, we re-keybinded the crafting menu to the Alt key. No problem there. Uh, this and this doesn't matter. Now, I put the emote radial to the 5 key. Uh, just I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later as to why. If you can find a better keybind for the quick chat, that's also non-combat related, but we'll, we'll just pass that one up. I unkeybinded this one here. These can stay the same. They will not conflict with the Q and E uh, above. Unkeybinded, unkeybinded. This you could possibly also unkeybind, but it doesn't. You're not gonna ever accidentally press that button. And I changed the take all from W to X, uh, so that way you don't ever accidentally press W, which happens all the time because we're always trying to move. Okay. So then you're gonna want to take a look down here at my my toolbar. On one, we have band-aids. On two, we have our melee weapon of choice. On three, we have our smoothies. On four, we have our bow. On five, we have our primary armor helmet. On six, we have the eye patch plus. Seven, we have spider legs. Eight, we have aphid slippers. But if you remember, we key binded five, six, seven, and eight to Q, E, F, and C. So with the press of a button, I can change from my spider helmet to my eye patch. So spider helmet, eye patch, spider helmet, eye patch. Now the reason why you're gonna wanna do this, say for example, you have the eye patch on and you want to swing with your mint mallet. From full stamina, you're going to get one, two, three, four. So that's four hits at increased damage. If you have this on, you're only going to get three hits. One, two, three. Okay. Now, spider armor does give you a noticeable move speed increase. It's really nice. But, if you have two pieces of spider armor and aphid slippers, you will actually go even quicker. It's quite noticeable. So, during combat, if you need that extra move speed to dodge an attack or just run away, you can press these at a click of a button. But keep in mind, aphid slippers do not have any armor. You don't want to get hit while wearing them. So, with the cl 
click of a button, you're back to your main armor. So what I've been practicing is switching in and out during combat, different armors. Here's our wolf. See, if I stand behind him, he cannot really hit me. That one, you have the perfect block. You notice he was homing in. So there, we had to do one perfect block, but for the rest of the attacks, we made him miss every one. So if you circle straight them, they're only gonna go for a regular bite, which will not have any homing properties, and he'll simply miss it. See, he's gonna miss. Now, he's gonna miss. He will miss. And it is that easy. It is that easy to kill a wolf. You still want to practice the normal method of just timing your perfect blocks the right way, but that could easily work. Luckily for us, we have another wolf here. We will fight him. He's gonna miss this bite, no matter what, you see? He doesn't have a choice in the matter. He's gonna miss. Uh, he homed in, I had the block. Homed in. And we are literally just too quick. We're just too quick for him to even hit us. Give your stamina a second to refill. And so we're gonna do the same thing this time. You're gonna run to him, approach him from behind, because every time you attack them from behind, they're going to do a 180, initiate a bite attack with no homing properties. It is going to miss guaranteed every time. Therefore, we're gonna try something risky. You're gonna switch to your eye patch, and you're gonna swing four times because you know his attack is gonna miss. On the fourth swing, he's gonna get stunned. You're gonna switch back to your spider hood for your stamina to regen, and then you'll just react accordingly to the fight. So approach by walking so your stamina is at full, and just do four swings right off the bat. He missed, he's stunned, stamina's regening. He missed. See now what happened there was you have that's what I mean by react. He got the high ground on me and we did not block in time. But if you're fighting them on even ground and you're just doing a circle strafing method, you can easily handle them. Now, as I talk, I'll go in the direction where more wolves might be. But that's basically the gist of it. Uh, that's the training I've been doing. You know, just switching gear in the middle of a fight. Uh, mixing in bow attacks whenever you can. Um, it just gives you a little bit more flexibility. If you're just trying to have a little fun and style on the monsters, maybe you can just basically, you know, do stuff like that, like while you're highly mobile.
Like, say you just killed a, a bug and you want to just celebrate, you're going to go, wahoo. You know, stuff like that. Pull out your bow. 360, no scope. You know what I mean? Whatever you want to do. Um, but that's just for flair. We're not going to really try to implement that in until we don't get hit anymore. And uh, we're still getting hit, so... We have a lot of training to do, but that's what I've been working on. Um, we're gonna go look for one more wolf over this way. Okay, here's our guy. We're gonna demonstrate again. You're gonna wanna approach from behind. You can do this with your eye patch for the increased damage since you know he's gonna miss his first attack. So you don't even have to run away. Approach him from behind. Approach him from behind. Swing at him four times. Then switch over to your spider hood to regen your stamina quicker and react to the fight however you need to. And the wolf is dead just like that. Now That was basically it. We want to work on our 360s. We want to work on switching to our bow, popping off some shots. You know, I play in third person, so I need to work on my accuracy for these shots here. But um, that is what I've been working on. <laughs> 